talk about things to worry about. I'm interested in your take on the short selling squeeze that took place recently. I mean, as you as you've kind of alluded to, but if you go back to 2000, a lot of the short selling was about you know overvalued sort of yeah. bomb type businesses, and subsequently it's been about businesses with their, when their model is being so undermined by progress, such as you know mm. bricks and mortar retailers. But what do you make of all of that, and do you think well, it's going yeah. to have an impact? Yeah, I mean, it's it's unbelievable, isn't it? Again, and I've never seen anything like it in my career that social media can can gang up on uh, one of the big hedge funds and and make it lose two billion dollars. I mean, or what three billion dollars or whatever it is. It was just uncanny, and and yeah. it does show the power of social media. As well as we saw with uh, Trump getting elected. I mean. Um, he he got elected on the back of social media, really, and then of course this time the Democrats wised up a bit and worked out that TV advertising uh, was not as necessary as they thought, and just just use social. But it does show exactly what the power of the people can can mm. can do, and uh, you saw it. They tried to ramp up uh, silver as well, and I'm yeah. old enough to remember the bunker hunts trying to do it and failing so um yeah it's 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 again unprecedented yeah you mentioned bitcoin earlier i was in an investment committee the other day for one of the businesses i'm involved in and was kind of alarmed to hear that one of the asset managers had been buying bitcoin um what's your take on bitcoin yeah i mean i, I wish i was clever enough to have uh, invested in it i mean yeah. uh, it's i suppose it's you know, you can compare it to gold to a certain extent. There's a finite amount. Although uh, I keep saying to my son, there is some gold in the, the ground. And of course, uh, you can still mine a bit of Bitcoin. And I suppose in that respect, there is a, they're both finite sort of um, um, objects. I mean, uh, finite investments. So, yeah, it's look again the extraordinary amounts of money that people have made in uh, Bitcoin and and the other cryptocurrencies, um, yeah. and the, on the Revolut, I'm on the Revolut board as you as you know I'm chairman of Revolut, and um, the thing that has helped us through this uh, pandemic with the uh, decline in interchange because of course we were a big we were a big interchange company because obviously it was. A phenomenal product for anyone that travels or transfers money or spends money abroad. But uh, one of the things that's helped enormously is the crypto trading, because of course you can trade crypto on uh, on Revolut with no leverage, but you you can trade it. So you have to pre-fund it, obviously, which I think's I think's good. But that's that's really helped our uh, our uh, revenue line during the uh, downturn. Yeah. 